Hello, my name is Hannah Fisher. I am the Clinical Specialist Physiotherapist in Respiratory and Critical Care at Providence Healthcare. Welcome to the Post-COVID-19 Recovery Education Series. This is Module 2 of 3 of Breathlessness After COVID-19. Today, you will learn how to assess your breathing, how to improve your breathing, and techniques to manage your breathlessness. Let's review your own breathing. Find somewhere comfortable to sit. Make sure you are sat up straight and not leaning to the side. Place one hand on your upper chest below your collarbones and the other hand on your tummy area above your belly button. Close your eyes and let's take a moment to think about your breathing. Are you breathing through your mouth or nose? Can you hear yourself breathing or is it quiet? Which part of your chest is filling with air? Which hand is moving more? Top hand, bottom hand or equal? Is your breathing shallow or deep? Is your breathing a steady rhythmical rate or is it fast and erratic? And is your breathing matching the task that you are doing? Now I want you to count the number of breaths you do in 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Okay, and stop there. You can open your eyes. Now take the number of breaths you did in 30 seconds and times this by two. This gives us your respiratory rate, which should be between 12 to 16 breaths per minute. Breathing is a subconscious automatic process. We don't have to tell ourselves to breathe. Our body automatically inhales and exhales. It should be effortless, relaxed and quiet. You should be breathing in and out through the nose. The nose warms, moistens and filters the air, as well as facilitating the correct action of the diaphragm. The breathing pattern should be rhythmical and steady. And your breath in should be slightly shorter than your breath out, with a slight pause between the inhale and the exhale. In relation to your hands on your chest and tummy, this tells us if you are breathing more with your upper chest or with your abdomen, where you are maximizing use of the diaphragm, diaphragm muscle. The top hand should have been moving 10 to 20% and the bottom hand should have been moving 80 to 90%. This is a more efficient way of breathing and helps you to conserve energy. Breath control is a technique used to improve your breathing pattern and help improve your breathlessness. It means breathing gently using the least amount of effort. It will help ensure you are breathing efficiently so you conserve energy and it will help you to regain a sense of control when you're feeling breathless or anxious. Sit comfortably with your back well supported or lie down. Place one hand on your tummy just beneath your ribs and place your other hand on your upper chest. Close your eyes to help you relax and focus on your breathing. Keep your breathing steady and relaxed. Do not take deep breaths. Slowly breathe in and out through your nose with your mouth closed. Your lower hand should move forward as you breathe in and back as you breathe out. There should not be much movement of your upper hand. If you are having difficulty stopping the top part of your chest from moving during this exercise, place both hands behind your head as if you're relaxing on a beach. 
or place your hands under your armpits and apply a very gentle downward pressure. This will help to deactivate the overactive muscles of your upper chest when breathing. Whilst doing this technique, remember nose, low and slow. The aim is to nose breathe at all times at rest. The nose warms the air, filters it and sets up a natural resistance that helps the diaphragm muscle to contract. Please note that breathing through your mouth is normal during times of physical exertion. Low means engaging in belly breathing. The diaphragm contracts on inhalation, moving down into the abdominal cavity. It is important that belly breathing is not confused with big breathing. Resting breathing volumes are quite small, only about 10% of your full lung vol volume. It doesn't take much effort or movement to perform breath control. And the last thing to work on is slow breathing. The aim is to establish a breathing rate of eight to 12 breaths per minute at rest. To slow breathing down, the breath out needs to be longer than the breath in. This doesn't mean squeezing air out of the lungs using a forced exhale. Rather, the key is to encourage the body's natural breathing rhythm. Slower breathing can help lower the heart rate, improve parasympathetic nervous system response, rest, digest and repair, and aid relaxation, which may be important for people with long COVID experiencing high heart rates. Aim to do this for three to four minutes, three to four times per day. Resting positions can be used to help you practice your breathing control or when you need to perform SOS for SOB. Please refer back to module one for further details on SOS for SOB. Use any of these positions to help you practice your breathing control or to recover your breath when you get breathless. Leaning forward helps to offload the diaphragm, allowing more room for it to contract and move air in and out of the lungs. Sitting upright in a chair with supporting arms, for many people it is easier to breathe in this position than in bed. Sitting, leaning forward from the waist, arms resting on a pillow or on a table, feet on the floor. Standing relaxed, leaning forwards with arms resting on a support such as a windowsill or fence. Standing relaxed, leaning back against a wall with the legs slightly apart or side lying. With all of these positions, try to relax your hands, wrists, shoulders, neck and jaw as much as possible. You can use any position that you find comfortable for breathing and you may wish to try changing positions. Purslip breathing is a simple technique which consists of inhaling through the nose for several seconds with the mouth closed and exhaling through the mouth slowly over four to six seconds through lips held in a whistling position. It can be used to help you control your breathlessness after exerting yourself. To do this, you breathe in gently through your nose, then purse your lips as though you're going to blow out a candle. Blow out with your lips in this pursed position and imagine blowing out a candle. Blow out for approximately four to six seconds or as long as is comfortable. Don't force your lungs to fully empty. It is an effective technique to improve oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange, increase the volume of air exhaled, reduce work of breathing and increase exercise tolerance. The window breathing technique is a useful technique to use to help you get your breathing into a more rhythmical pattern. It is also very helpful as a distraction technique for when you have an episode of breathlessness or anxiety. This technique can be done discreetly by focusing on a window or any rectangular object. It is important that your breath in is slightly shorter than your breath out. Start by looking along the short edge, breathing in as you do so. When you reach the longest length, breathe out as your eyes follow the line down. Do this along the other sides, remembering to breathe in on the short sides and breathe out on the longer ones. Repeat until your breathing returns to normal and you feel calm and relaxed.